Hi, I'm Miss Janet, and today I thought I'd read you a story outside. The name of my book is called Lola Loves Stories. Lola's daddy takes her to the library on Saturdays. The library is very busy, but Lola finds some excellent books. I hope you all make it to the library so that you can find you some great books. Lola's daddy reads the first story at home. It's about a fairy princess. All the next day, Lola wears a fancy dress and a sparkly crown. She is a fabulous princess. The girls I know love to play dress up and dress up as princesses. On Saturday night, Lola and her mommy read the next story. It's about an amazing journey. On Monday, Lola takes her friends on fantastic trips to places like Paris and Lagos, which is the largest city in Nigeria. On Tuesday, Lola chooses a story about friends. All afternoon, she and Ben play with their babies. Lola has cappuccino and her baby has juice. Tuesday night, Lola's mommy reads a story about fierce tigers. The next day, Lola chases her friend, Orla, all over the jungle. On Wednesday night, Lola reads a story about old MacDonald. The next day, she is a farmer. Lola's cow has a boo-boo. Mommy knows how to fix it. On Thursday night, Lola and her daddy read about building. The next day, Lola fixes up her house. She needs a hammer, a saw, and a little help from daddy. On Friday night, Lola's daddy makes up a story about magic shoes. The next day, Lola's shoes are truly amazing. They sparkle all the way to the library and all the way home. They even sparkle while Daddy reads her a story about a wild and wicked monster. What will Lola be tomorrow? Can you guess? A monster. So while we're off, boys and girls, I hope that your mommies and daddies, or even if you have older brothers and sisters, that they will read to you every night. It's great to have somebody read stories to you. And you can even make up your own stories and tell each other stories. So I'm sorry we can't be together for the next week. Hopefully we will be back soon. And in the meantime, continue to read or listen to stories and work on your scissors and your writing. And we will hopefully see you back real soon. Bye.